wanted to see if I could build a solar powered <coughs> external battery pack for my trail cameras that would cost less than what I could uh, buy them for. Now the one thing that I did do is uh, I've got what four trail cameras one has six volts, one has nine volts, one has twelve volts. I bought one solar powered thing for uh, 88 bucks and this is what I had. I had to get a 12 volt to 9 volt uh, step down converter. I got three competition 7 watt solar panels because they were a lot cheaper and I bought them for 50 bucks. You could probably make an offer for 45. They might go <coughs> down there. Here's what one would cost, and you can make an offer on that. 12 volt to 6 volt <coughs> converter. And they're out of them right now, but anyway, it cost uh, $8.50. I also got a <coughs> solar charge controller, and uh, it only cost $6.39. I also got a uh, 12 volt. Uh, battery connector for $7.99. Uh, I have a feeling you can uh, make one for way cheaper than that. I also got 100 feet of 18 gauge two conductor <coughs> black sleeve to go from the battery box up to the uh, trail cameras using a uh, power barrel jacks. I bought a Sheffield 6 12 634 storage box, a 7 amp hour sealed lead acid battery because uh, I like seal, uh, lead acid because uh, they don't burn down usually like uh, if you don't watch it the uh, lithium cells can do. I got some terminal blocks and then finally I got uh, a male, female, 2.1 by 5.5 DC power jack plugs. I almost forgot the uh, barrel jack female that I used on the outside, and that is 1069. I don't have that in the uh, <coughs> costs. So let's add up the cost. <coughs> the 12 volt to 9 volt DC to DC converter is 629. The three solar panels for $4.99, 12 volt to 6 volt DC to DC converter, eight bucks and fifty cents. Solar charge controller, six dollars thirty nine cents. The F1 battery terminals and cord, $7.99. 100 feet of 18 gauge uh, cable, $24.92. Sheffield storage box, $9.99. ML 7-12, the uh, 12 volt, uh, 7 amp hour, sealed lead acid battery, 1750. The terminal blocks, 899. The 10 pairs of DC power jack plugs, 599. That comes out to a total of 146.55. If I just used one panel, bought one instead of uh, three, it would have been 122.55. And if I just did one panel and 10 feet of cable, it would have been a hundred and dollars and 13 cents. So <coughs> I did not get uh, something built for less than that. But by the same token, what I built was something that uh, is one-off and special that I can go to any of my trail cameras, assuming I have the correct uh, input for the external power, and uh, hook it up and use that. A couple things that I forgot. I've got a uh, Bushnell Core DS that has a proprietary uh, external DC adapter. You can get one from Custom One Power Cables for $12. Why they did this, I've got no idea, but they should be ashamed of themselves. And uh, also the uh, cam pack. It has a 3.5 by 135 adapter, so 
I will have to get uh, <coughs> these straight adapters for $9.95 so that's a couple extra uh, dollars that, to get all the uh, cameras to what they should where I can uh, use external power why they don't all use the uh, 5.5 by 2.1 I've got no idea well here it is that is the finished product I've got an input for solar panel a 12 volt DC out a 9 volt DC out and a 6 volt DC out let's go ahead and look inside as you can see there's a battery a uh, <clears throat> bunch of uh, stuff here. We've got the solar panel or charge controller with the uh, barrel jacks. We've got what you might call a DC bus and then here is the uh, two converters and the reason it's set up this way I can take the battery and hook it up to the DC bus as I call it and then hook it up uh, <coughs> to either the 9 volt or 6 volt or none of them if I'm using the 12 volt and the reason I'm doing that is because this solar or the solar charge controller if there's no power from the uh, panel, it will consume about 13 milliamps. So uh, what I'm what I'm planning on doing is going ahead and hook the battery directly up to the uh, uh, bus, 12 volt bus, and then the solar uh, panel right to the bus during the winter, and then during the uh, summer I'll use the solar charge controller. There's a bunch of uh, YouTube videos where they don't use a solar charge controller and they uh, just uh, use hook the panel, solar panel directly to the uh, battery and that works for them uh, here in the uh, North Country, uh, I decided to use the solar charge controller during the summer and then hook the uh, solar panel directly to the uh, battery essentially during the uh, cold months. And we'll see how it uh, turns out. And of course, this is the uh, solar, solar panel with the uh, power, uh, power barrel jack connector put on to it. So that'll go right into the first connector and then I'll use whatever output is needed to uh, charge whatever uh, trail camera there is.